Okay, we're here with Richard Love, and Richard, you're, um, you went to Green Mac for your college in Northern Ireland, correct? Yep, that's correct. I uh, went there for three years. Okay, and uh, what course did you do there? Uh, apprenticeship for two years and a one-year full-time course in agriculture. Okay, and uh, now you decided that you were going to come to the U.S. and get some experience, so you were uh, contacted through the harvesters and through myself here at, o at the Ohio program and uh, you're out here with uh, Rick Farris. Tell the guys back home a little about Rick's operation. Uh, Rick runs a very good operation. He gives you a lot of training and runs a tight up, runs a tight scale and gets you up early in the morning and runs 7130 case combines and four of them and four McDonald headers. Uh, and two Magnum 340s and two green carts. Okay, and that equipment that Rick runs, the combines and the tractors were new this year, right? Yes, all new this year, so they were. And so from your point of view, you're using the latest technology they've got. I mean, uh, you've got used to things like the GPS systems and all that sort of, you know, the, the precision farming equipment, shall we say? Yeah, we used all the new equipment, latest equipment, top top-notch stuff. Okay, and what kind of jobs have you been doing while you're here, Richard? I uh, drove combine and the magnums with the green carts and the trucks, tandems, trucks. Okay, um, and what about in the workshop? I mean, there's still, even though the machines are new, you've got a fair bit of service and fixing work to do at times, correct? Yes, you have to change concaves and fix some some headers and how to fix some transmissions this year as well in the combines. Okay, so for a lad that's coming out of Green Mac, just finished a course just like you did, how do you think something like coming over here is going to benefit that lad? It'll gain, gain plenty of knowledge and new machinery and top, top machinery and GPS and stuff that they can take back home and put under their own farm. Yes. Okay, so you come from a farm in Northern Ireland. Have you picked up some good ideas that maybe you can transfer back home and some knowledge that will maybe help you improve the farm or in, you know, make you more efficient in the way you do things? I could take back some, some of the stuff back home and put it under use so I could. Okay. Um, I know you work a lot of hours when you're on an operation like Rich. You can work some very long days and you can be busy for days in a row, but I know you do get time off at times. What sort of things have you seen of the U.S. outside of the uh, work environment? We went to Yellowstone National Park um, in Wyoming, and we went to Glacier Park up in Montana. Okay, so you got to see some national parks. Um, Rick's pretty good. I mean, he'll get, let you take a vehicle when you're not working so you can run to those sorts of things, right? Trust you with it? Yep. He'll send somebody that knows where they're going, and we'll go just... Okay, and what about your living arrangements here? Where are you living, staying at while you're at Rick's? We live in a trailer house, so do, and he likes to keep clean and tidy. And we live in with more three or four other people, so do. Okay, I know Rick's particular about his operation. I think that reflects in, you know, the fact that the customers are, um, you know, been with him for many years and things like that, correct? Yes, they've been some of the customers have been with them for over 40 years and more. Okay, and um, I mean, what? Finally, what's your advice to a guy that's at Green Mount, maybe thinking about coming out here? What would you tell him? I would definitely advise him to to come out to the US and take a look about it a year out, maybe, and come out. All right. Uh, thanks, Richard. Okay. Thanks.